With the impact of COVID-19 back in the spring, the City of Waco general and special election that normally would have been taking place in May was held along with the national elections on Tuesday, November the 3rd. This year, the City of Waco election included the selection of a mayor and council district 1 and 3, plus a special election to fill the unexpired term of District 4 position. From the election, Dylan Meek was elected Waco's new mayor after Mayor Kyle Deaver announced he would not seek another term. Dylan received 69% of the votes over David Mara, who garnered 31%. In District 1, incumbent council member Andrea Bearfield will continue her seat on the council after receiving 71% of the vote against challenger Randy Gober with a 29% vote. Two candidates were vying for the District 3 position, with Josh Bordereau taking the victory with a narrow margin of 51% of the vote against challenger Aubrey Robertson, who received 49% of the votes. In District 4, Kelly Palmer garnered 47% of the vote and won the position against incumbent council member Darius Ewing with 31% and challenger Rick Allen with 22% of the vote. Kelly Palmer will serve the uncompleted term for District 4 that ends May of 2021. During the city council meeting on November the 17th, Dylan Meek, Andrea Bearfield, Josh Bordereau, and Kelly Palmer will all be sworn in as new Waco City leaders by the city secretary Esmeralda Hudson. Mayor Deaver, Council Members Kennard and Ewing will continue to serve until November 17, 2020. The official canvassing of election results and the swearing in of elected City Council members will be conducted at the end of the November 17, 2020 City Council business session. The ceremony will be closed to the public, but it will be broadcast live right here on the Waco City Cable Channel.